AITA for giving my son's bedroom to our foster child. My husband and I have been foster parents for over a decade. Two months ago, we had four minor children living in our home. Our 12-year-old biological son, our 8- and 5-year-old adopted sons, and our 21-month-old foster son. Our 22-year-old foster daughter also still lives at home with us and my 19-year-old son spent the summer back home after his freshman year of college. We also have other adult children that don't live at home but not really relevant. Seven weeks ago, we got a call for an emergency placement of five siblings, 17F, 12F, 10M, 7F, 6M. We only had two spare bedrooms but had enough spare beds in storage to make it work with the girls in one room and the boys in the other. It now looks like we are going to be fostering the five of them for considerably longer than we thought when they were placed with us. Because of the large age gaps between the girls, having them share more long term isn't really ideal. We already moved the boys a few weeks ago. We bought a triple bunk for our 8- and 5-year-old's room and moved the 6-year-old in with them, and put the 10-year-old's bed into our 12-year-old's room. This allowed the 17-year-old girl to get her own room and the two younger girls to share. None of this created any drama and the boys were all more than happy to share rooms with each other. Now that my 19-year-old is going back to college we discussed and eventually agreed on turning his bedroom into a room for our 12-year-old girl so she has her own space away from her little sister. He wasn't impressed when I brought up the idea but agreed. However, before he left back for college a few days ago, he got into an argument with my husband complaining it's unfair he's lost his room and that he has nowhere to go when he comes back home now. My other adult son also contacted me about the situation to essentially tell me it was a bad idea and that his brother is really upset and just because he's been away for college a year doesn't mean he is ready to lose his spot in the house. Last year we didn't need the extra space, so his room stayed empty when he was at college. This year it makes no sense to leave a bedroom empty and to make two girls five years apart in age share a room. He is still welcome home whenever and if things change, in case he drops out, we can rearrange things again. Losing his room is temporary as we don't normally have so many foster kids. When our other kids slash grandkids visit they happily use an air mattress in the den or bunk with a sibling and he can do the same on his school breaks. He will most likely have his room back by next summer and if not, we will figure out solutions then. I have explained all this to him but he's not hearing me. So am I being a jerk? I've bought new decor etc for the room and plan on decorating and moving our foster daughter in tomorrow.